Fast Lawyer VR Reviews. For sexy VR reviews, hit the subscribe button. Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. Today we're doing a full live review for Case Files, The Deaths of Paulette Williams, a game that was originally released on the Steam Store October 26, 2022 by developer Think10 Media Group. It normally retails for $6. I received a free Steam key through the Steam Creator Connect program. Now this game received a free VR update yesterday, December 16th, 2022. It does support motion controllers and it supports OpenXR, the Rift, Rift S, Quest, Quest 2. And you can play this either standing or seated. Um, this game is a real-time police interrogation and detective simulator. Now, as a lawyer, I can say that this is actually pretty realistic. And some of the methods the police choose here are based on the read method, the, the read technique. I don't know if you guys have heard of this police interrogation technique. But the read technique is something that does elicit false confessions. And right here, when this cop is questioning Samantha Williams, as a lawyer, I would tell her, do not ever agree to be interrogated by the police without a lawyer present. Do not ever, in any situation, do that. The police may say it makes you look guilty and they'll lie to you. They're allowed to lie by law, but never ever speak to the police without an attorney present. And if you're going to say anything, the only thing you'll say is that you plead the fifth amendment. The police are usually there to try to get you to confess to whatever they think you did. Whether you're innocent or guilty, it doesn't matter. Do not talk to the police. Talk to an attorney. Make sure you have an attorney present if you do decide to talk to the police. And they can guide you, you know. They'll tell you, hey, this is the time to plead the fist. This is the time to stop the interrogation. But when you're there by yourself, the police will pull all kinds of tricks. And one of the biggest tricks is that they'll lie to you. They'll straight up lie to you. So do not talk to the police. Anyways, I had to get that out there as a lawyer. <laughs> but this is actually a very realistic take on a police interrogation and I was very surprised by that. Now, I want to be honest with you guys, there's not much of a game here. So if you're expecting gameplay, it's very limited. You have a couple of choices. Um, I believe there's eight different possible endings. Although some of the gameplay, if you play this game more than once, you'll see some of the videos. Even if they're different videos that you're seeing, they have some of the same content. So there's not a lot of variety. The good thing is that if you turn the skip option on, off you can actually use the skip option i think the settings are messed up in this game for whatever reason i have to turn the skip option off in order to be able to skip but you can skip the video and then once it's skipped you can play the video you can fast forward do whatever you want so you can just see the portions that you haven't seen before although that's not always easy to navigate because the fast forward unfortunately doesn't let you really see what you're fast forwarding it just kind of fast forward so you just have to like fast forward a little bit at a time but it's still better than no option of being able to skip what i did like though is that this is very realistic and i think the actors especially considering the price did a great job the developer is actually one of the actors and i think the developer actually did a great job acting he acted like a real cop like the way a real cop would conduct an interrogation using the read technique to get you to falsely confess and I was stumped. I kind of saw where the evidence was going, but I still had my doubts on what to do. And when I ended my first playthrough, I actually made the wrong conclusion. Even though I had my doubts, I still went with that because that was the strongest evidence and it ended up being wrong. 
And actually, one of the choices with the least amount of evidence is actually where it was. And at the end, it kind of does really make sense, especially if you paid very close attention to all the details you were told. You can sort of guess where the story was going. I do recommend this experience, but keep in mind, it's mostly a cinematic narrative experience. There's very little gameplay here. But the reason I recommend it is because it's super realistic, but also makes this experience very niche. So if you're interested in how a real police interrogation might go, I recommend this for you. But if you're playing this, expecting a game, then pass on it. If I have to rate it, I give it a 6.5 out of 10.